you're dressed up for the season. You're ordering key limes. I'm Glasses just, of wine, cocktails. Yeah, she asked you, it was like one bill or two, and you're, it's still two, but your bill is much higher than mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I treated myself tonight a little bit. Yeah. I, went, I continued on with my gluttonous ways and uh, had an appetizer, a main course with a cocktail, a wine with my main course, a uh, dessert with a coffee. I got I got three drinks and <laughs> three courses. Yeah. When we're really just reviewing the burger, the rest is just for me. Yeah. I remember you were... It's you... all for me. <laughs> uh, you need to change your ways. Mm. Uh, Let's see. Maybe I'll learn a lesson. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, but when she was making the cocktail, I remember you weren't even paying attention to anything I was saying. You were just staring <laughs> over... At this, uh, across this empty restaurant, and you saw that there was a little overflow of that cocktail. Not a little. A little. Too much cocktail that like, she had made. Like half of this glass, like, uh, you know, a good yeah. a good 10 ounces. And she just gave it away to somebody. Gave it away. That's my cocktail. Whoever was closest. Just give me a bigger glass, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. So you paid for someone else to enjoy some of your cocktail. Well, no. I think the uh, the barman just measured really poorly. Because mine wasn't, it wasn't a weak cocktail. So I think he just measured, measured so poorly that he made enough for me. And then was like, well, he filled up my glass. And then half filled another glass to give to someone who was sitting at the bar to be like, try this. Half filled another glass. I'm so, not kidding, man. So you, pretty much somebody got a cocktail half the size of yours for free. No, you know what? Mm, probably about the same size as me. Whoa. Yeah. The different it... shape of glass. I had a martini glass that was kind of small, and it was filled basically yeah. to the brim when it was delivered to me. And this is like a standard water glass that was, yeah. they got a half of one of those that's for free. See, that's the thing. I don't ever want to pay for something that I know you can get for free if you're patient I or know. if you're in the right place. I know. I'm looking at someone else getting a free version of the thing I'm paying $13 for. It's the exact same thing. Yeah. Just because it's put in a different glass that doesn't have a maraschino cherry. Are you kidding me? Unacceptable. You know those pretzel uh, vendors? Oh, I like pretzels. They give you those little samples of pretzels? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like six of those little locations in a row. Every time I pass by one of those places, they never have the hot dog pretzel or the pretzel or the cheese pretzel, the pretzel I want a pretzel. Yeah. They only ever have the little cinnamon bun bit. I don't like a cinnamon bun bit, but it's not what I want to try when I go to the pretzel place. Okay. Mr. Pretzel, pretzel time, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. This is what you got to do. Captain Pretzel lot. <laughs> all, all great names. <laughs> uh, copyright. <laughs> Cano and Janko ones is at launch. Yeah. Burger edition. Um, I've ordered a hot dog pretzel thing. And they said, we don't have any ready. It's like, it's okay. I'll wait. Oh, joy. And I stand there and I wait. I wait about seven minutes. Oh, but yeah, in that time, I was offered a pretzel. It's like, you want a pretzel while you wait? I'm like, yes, I will take that pretzel while I wait because it's free. And if I had ordered a pretzel, no way you'd be offering me a pretzel while I wait for another pretzel. That's true. So you got to order the hot dog, order the thing that takes the longest, and just expect free things. Interesting. Yeah. Now it's to the point where if I order a hot dog and I don't get a free pretzel, I say, take this hot dog back. I don't want it. Shove it. Yeah. Take this hot dog pretzel and shove it. Yeah, exactly. I use those words. (laughs) Now, Matthew, we went to Prohibition today on yes. Lunkland. We each got a burger. Um, before we get to the burger itself, though. <laughs> yes, let's prolong it. Um, what did you think of Prohibition uh, just in general? You had been there before. How was your meal last time? You didn't mention that. You just mentioned the weight. How would you like the decor? How would you like the staff? What would you think of uh, Prohibition in general? It was okay. It was it was a long wait last time, mm-hmm. about two hours. Moving on from the wait. Yes, Oh, so I thought you meant how, how much my plate had weighed, and I was like, I never talked about that. But I did get a uh, very, very thick French toast mm-hmm. and fried chicken. How thick? Show them with your fingers. Oh, well, that's not going to work for well, people Well, I'll describe the measurement. Land. That thick? That's that how thick. thick the French toast was? Yeah. Like, width? Yeah, three inches, we'd say, That's right? crazy, yeah. With some special bread. As someone said it was some kind of Jewish I don't bread. know. I don't know. Would I don't you... know. Jewish, don't they have flatbread usually? That's what I thought. I don't know other kinds of Jewish bread other than bagel. It's either real flat or real thick. Okay. No in between. <laughs> um, it was okay. It was pretty good. Uh, very busy. For some reason, the bartender kept on 
I was the only person who didn't order a drink at the okay. table. There's a table of about 10 people. I was sure. the only person who didn't order a drink. Who are you going with? I don't know. There's a bunch of people. 10 people? Uh, let's bring it down to seven. All right. So, okay. anyway. <laughs> uh, and I guess he, there's this, he got it in his mind that I just had a really rough night. Oh, okay. And I didn't realize until the end. Is like like oh, everyone's probably... getting bloody Caesars and they're like, uh, and you're like, oh, I'm too damn hungover. Yeah. I was well. I was getting insulted by the end, and he was just like, "He's like, oh, rough night," and I was like, "Sorry, what?" And he's like, "Rough night," and I'm like, "What do you mean?" And he's like, "Did you have a rough night?" And I'm like, "No, I'm fine. I just worked." And he's like, "Oh, you know, everyone who works in the service industry, uh, they're secret alcoholics, you know." And I'm like, "What? What is he reading off of me? Like, I'm just <laughs> sitting here trying to enjoy my." My chicken and my really thick French toast. And he was probably mistaking, mistaking the scowl on your face uh, for a hangover when you were just upset that you waited two hours. If I was hungover <laughs> that bad, <laughs> damn, I would not wait two hours. <laughs> or no. be there at 11 a.m. to wait two hours. That's cuckoo. This guy's got to get his head on straight. Yeah. Sorry, Matthew. Go on. That's okay. I, I it was In retrospect, I realized it's probably because... People were joking. It was like when they asked me if I wanted to drink, and I was like, "Oh, he'll have a like a double scotch." Oh, and okay. it was like, "Aha! Uh-huh, this guy doesn't know. This no. guy doesn't know. He's just thinking. It's like, oh, I'm having a really rough morning. These people are trying to, but I was I was angry at him. Yeah, I left him uh, a, a lower tip than I would have. What, what kind of tip you leave? Yeah, it was fifteen percent. Oh, but that's not bad. That's fine. That's the option on the debit machine. Uh, 15, yeah. 17, yeah, or seventeen, yeah, twenty. Yeah, yeah. I could have gone 13. Should have. Isn't there an other? Isn't it like 15, another, 15, 15 17, 20? And then you go other, and then you go 14. I want to leave you a message. 14.5%. Yeah. I'm doing all this extra work just because your shy. service was just shy of a person. The service 15. was fine, but the presumptions. <laughs> I didn't like the presumptions. I could have done without them, sir. Yeah. Uh, this time was much better. Less presumptions, but I feel like <laughs> any presumptions were kept close to her close to her cuff well i don't know i felt like the presumptions instead of being directed at you this time they were directed at me like if he shares any of his appetizers if he's willing to share any of his dessert he's such a fatty fat fat i'm like hey man (laughs) see i didn't get you work for tips i didn't get that i thought you were just the charismatic big spender and then this guy sitting in a ratty t-shirt, <laughs> and she's just trying to include me in the in the conversation. And I be guess. Like, hey, well, here's a. But you know, the thing is, is what if you didn't want to share your key lime pie, and she brings a fork? It's true. It's it's unfair to, to me you to yeah. presume that maybe you would be willing to, and now you feel bad if like, well, now for the record, the option. Yeah, I told Matthew to eat as much of the appetizer as he wanted, even though you you had you had some, but I still had most of it. But I was kind of like. Insisting that you eat more of it. You had the lion's share. I had a... And uh, <laughs> and for the dessert, yep. you took the tiniest little mouse bite. And I said, no, take another piece. Take a take a bigger piece. And you did not. You just wanted to savor the little the little niblet you got. Yeah. It's a common theme. I think I, we, you got steak at one point at a place. And I took a piece of steak and I just let it oh, sit yeah. in my mouth That's and right. melt away. That's right. I guess you really savor your food. Yeah. And I just get a big serving and... Don't savor it. Just gobble it all up. Exactly. I still have a piece of that key lime pie in my mouth. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the steak that you ate like a month ago. <laughs> no. Still still got a little um, bit between my teeth. Now, not to, I need to mention something, Sebastian. You, Shoot. You had gum in your mouth before this meal. Oh, boy. Calling me out. And to anyone listening. Uh, I have a bad <laughs> habit of forgetting to spit out my gum while I'm outdoors yeah. or near a trash can. And so I often go in restaurants, order a meal, and then we'll put my gum in a napkin or something like that. You know, if there's a sugar packet, maybe I'll empty it and, like, you know, just put the gum, fold the the sugar packet around it. Yeah. Put it in something that's easily disposable. Um, here, there were paper napkins. It was a, you know, it was a nice restaurant. There were wine glasses on the table when we arrived. I guess I didn't talk about it. We did duck about the decor, but... Yeah. It's nice. It's nothing crazy. They have uh, decanters all up around the bar, empty, empty crystal decanters. It's it's nice, though. It's nice. Cloth napkins, um, not the but, kind you can... But the outside looks like basically an old house. Yes. I kind of like it. It's weird. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I walk in. I've got a piece of gum in my mouth. And as my as the appetizer shows up and my cocktail shows up, I look left, I look right, I look around. I realize there's nowhere for me to put my gum. And I say that 
I don't like usually doing this, but I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to have to do it. And I stick my gum under the table. Not only did I stick my gum under the table, I kind of really worked it in there. As if like, well, I don't want this to fall off or anyone to really ever notice. So let me just really get it in there. So it's almost flush with the wood. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Matthew, you suggested that I swallow it. Well, I was I was flabbergasted that you wouldn't just swallow it. You went through all this trouble, this like looking Not around. Not that much trouble. I just... <laughs> 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 Done. Well, your description of how you did it was a lot longer than that. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, you you also like tried to be really sneaky in front of a big glass uh, wall. Yeah, there was a huge window beside yeah. me that like uh, they can see me from the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, no one in my, my immediate field of vision. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a window. Anyone walking downstairs to the washroom would just have a clear shot of you sticking that gum. But That's I was true. wondering, why not just swallow that gum and be done with it? It's a little morsel. Just just swallow that gum. Matthew, you are a monster. All my life I've swallowed my gum. Why are you swallowing so much gum? Why are you swallowing gum at all? You know it's safe to swallow. I don't know about that. You're not going to pass uh, food and s- food safety regulations if, you, if it's not safe to consume. It's not food. It's, safe it's to chewing consume. gum. It's made for chewing, not consuming. But it has to be safe to swallow or else they wouldn't be, allow you to put it in your mouth at all. I don't know about that, Matthew. Oh, for sure. What do you mean allow you to put it in your mouth? Because it's if it's if it's it's sold as a food item. It's not sold as a I don't know if a, it's sold as a food item. It's not sold with the thermometers. It's not being like put this in your mouth but don't swallow it, the mercury will kill you. I guess it's like sold with the candies and whatever. Yeah. yeah. You gotta think a kid is gonna swallow a piece of gum at one point. Sure. But and you shouldn't. It's not mm, dangerous, but it's not good. How is it not good? I don't believe okay, the so rumors. Now, now this is, yeah, I've, I've, I don't know if this is an old wives' tale, but I feel like I've heard that a, a piece of gum will sit in your system for seven years. Mm. Sounds awful. If you're swallowing your gum all the time, at least for me, I go through maybe a pack of gum a week. Maybe even more. Maybe a little more. I probably chew a piece or two of gum a day. Okay. So, if I'm swallowing all this gum, we're talking in a year? A lot of gum. <laughs> yes. I could do the simple math, but it doesn't sound as exciting as I was hoping it would, so I just said a lot of gum. Okay. Maybe almost my weight in gum. Probably not. No, no definitely not. No, definitely not. No. Gum is not way much, but a lot of gum. Maybe my weight in gum. I'm going back and forth on this. I'm not sure how much a piece of gum weighs, but... Well, I don't think a, a gum version of Sebastian, the given... Gum Bastion? Gum Bastion, yes. I don't know if Gum Bastion, the exact same size as you, would weigh nearly as close to, to what you weigh not that you weigh a lot but gum is very light but if it's all packed in there oh, you can really if you worked it in to to gum bastion the we're way talking you worked it into over the table, 700 pieces of used chewing gum yeah sometimes it's a bigger piece of chewing gum sometimes i chew a hop of bubba no or a bubba licious mm. i used to be mad into gum when i was a, a, a <laughs> mad gum chewer <laughs> okay true. again yeah, and you're swallowing all of this gum. Yeah, I'd have I've had multiple packs of crybaby gums. Uh, they were balls of of little sour candy. Yeah, but uh, you put one or two in your mouth, and you got a full mouth. And I want to fit more gum in. I'm going to swallow that. Oh my! Get God. more gum in. But you're just gumming up the works. You'd think, but I'm still here. I don't have my my arteries. My intestines are not. What about those clouded. big veins of yours? Those big leg veins? Maybe it's because you've been swallowing all your gum. You think it's all the gum? Could be gumming up the works. Yeah. Well, I I can see you, Matthew. I can imagine. Open up a roll of bubble tape and just eating it <laughs> as it rolls down your throat and out of the package. And it's just a endless chewing cycle. No one ever told me. <laughs> it's it. <laughs> I didn't think we needed to, Matthew. Look at all. Why are you eating so much gum? I've gone 30 years. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to do it, and I can't stop now. You've heard before. You clearly have just decided you don't want to believe it. I thought it was because gum was so delicious, and whoever came up with it didn't want people to eat all the gum. (laughs) It's a conspiracy. Yeah. (laughs) Matthew, maybe you should do a test. Yes. Eat only gum for a day. Okay. And then when you use the washroom... See if it's gum. <laughs> or if you're just gumming up the works. Being constipated. 
<laughs> yeah, basically. Um, I'll check it out. 